fast forward it was obviously became illegal why i think the partying and the illegal use sort of got out of control and the truth is i mean three four methylene dioxy methamphetamine notice the last couple syllables methamphetamine it's very similar to meth it's a stimulant and so it has it can have negative effects it can definitely mm. like you can have a very bad experience and serious adverse health can outcomes you, can you die yeah i mean theoretically you could have a heart attack or something like that i mean like i said it's a stimulant, right? So blood pressure, heart rate, you know, this is why oftentimes when you see, I'm not sure how often you see people on MDMA, but for those out there who do, but yes, you know, the, the except cannot, for Matt, the producer, just kidding. <laughs> I'm, to, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> the, the typical MDMA like stereotype or idea is, you know, they're grinding their teeth, they're sweating, right? They're running around. It's a stimulant, right? It's, it is stimulating their heart rate and all that. So it can be dangerous. That was sort of recognized and they said, all right, you know, this probably shouldn't be legalized. And then it kind of, you know, vanished from at least the clinical and scientific worlds for a while until I think late 2000s, like 2008 or so was the first study MDMA for PTSD. And that is where the whole sort of MDMA science and psychedelic science reemerged and just exploded. And it's become a really significant part of science nowadays. What are some of the therapeutic benefits of MDMA? So MDMA is... I want to say primarily and maybe only used or experimented for PTSD. And the idea is that, you know, big misconception, people think, okay, MDMA for PTSD. So if I have PTSD and I take Molly at Lollapalooza or Coachella, I'm going to feel better after, right? But that's a big misconception because MDMA, it's not necessarily that the drug mechanism, what it's doing in the brain is like reversing trauma, right? Like in the way that a painkiller is like reversing or kind of blocking pain signals. It's not like that. It's thought that there there's two important things, set and setting. The set is sort of like the mindset that you go into the experience with. And this is, by the way, true for like all psychedelics, LSD, psilocybin. You need to go in in this mindset of like, I'm going to heal and setting where you are, what you're doing. What MDMA does is it makes everything euphoric. And if your setting is that you're sitting with a therapist who you trust and who you know, and you are discussing whatever experiences you have been through that have driven that PTSD, you are better able to approach and sort of ruffle through these mm. buried traumatic emotions because they're not painful.